the Caribbean, it cool, laid back. Life, it easy. So can you tell me how the, the drought in 2009 was for you? It was hot, you know. You know you take one shower a day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and you know you drink not eight cups of water, you drink two. Yeah. In Trinidad and Tobago, we had an extreme event recently. They look like, you know, these big wool war. We need bomb for and mash up road and building for it. Look just like that. I move it up in there. And have you seen this thing like you know? I wonder if this thing real. Yeah, nice, but it's not all easy. Climate change has real effects on real people. But who would then test and query quality of it? Access rule? I got. The people who have lived in some degree of harmony with the environment for a while, they know they may catch fish. Alright, how are you going? going? Alright, I did. Yeah. Everything yeah. alright? Yeah. Nice man, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, no, come to see a whole lot of cook, man. A whole lot of bicycles. Yeah, yeah. So everything alright? Yeah. Nice, man. Okay. When you're on an island, there's no place to run. Okay, that's the situation that we're in, really. And it affects people in many different ways. Some lose property. Some have to change their whole way of life. Some could cope, and some just can't. So that's why we have to look at vulnerability and adaptive capacity. And one size doesn't fit all, in other words. It all depends on how many money you have. Okay. Yeah, then so you know, that the sometimes you, know, decide. you make sure that you have a, maybe a small house, but a big system. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, yeah. because you don't know how it is in Carico. Yeah. When, when those resources are no longer available to you, to, you know, that affects your family in a really re real way, you know? No, but the rivers are supermarkets. For yes. You know, it, these days, as you as you folks always say, monitor. Monitor. And we have to get our story told at the global level, the impact on the decisions that have been taken. Um, that is part of what we want to do in this project. Okay? Um, because it's been said that we don't have any science to back us up, that we're being emotional, saying how we're poor and we're vulnerable and stuff like that. We have no science to back us up. But Water Access will dispel these myths by providing solid evidence based on research, high quality scientific research, for the improvement of water management and adaptation throughout the region. While engaging communities all along the way and making real contributions to people's lives. So come join us as we contribute to Caribbean development, sustainable development. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. You can drop us an email and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.